travel to the game. Yeah! Look, man, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't Wait, nothing better than a What's wrong with that? I married you. What's your I married you. I I I I I was, I even saw you trying to get Dave and Beef as well. <laughs> just, oh, just one beef, one beef trying to get Dave. Yeah, with, with Dongo. And he was like, oh, this is Dave speaking. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it'd be an assassin. Oh, did you tweet from your page? I, tweet, I do most of the tweet, like 99.9%. Anything, on the, the social, anything on the social. I thought it was from your own personal. Personal. I don't know why. I just no, 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 that was no, the, the Nigerian oh, one. Oh, okay. It was my own person. Any, oh, anything, person. anything from our socials is, 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 is Jordan. I believe it. Bro, I'm not even logged into I believe it. Shit. Nah, I believe it. Jordan just likes Nah, but that tweet, that tweet, I was because I was watching, obviously, I was watching Blood Sisters. I'm only on episode two, so if you guys watched it, don't spoil it for me. And I just, watched This man, this guy just was like lips in his mom. Like, whenever like, he tweets her. When I fall off, he's like, wait, wait. kisses are a bit too long this, on this the lips. Great. I, like, Bro, this is great. Stress, brother. Jesus. Let's get stress, brother. Uh, tissue, tissue. You know, that's what that's what the babes like. You know, what, what they call it? Salt and pepper, innit? That's what. Tissue, tissue. Eat but, banana. But yeah, the guy was lips in. Is I just thought it was like part of the culture because they're Nigerian. I was like, this must be part of their. If that's I don't like, know, man. Wait, just so you I'm know, just asking. Just so you know, if that's part of the culture, that means your son is going to be lips in your wife. You know that. I hope you know that. Yeah. That's up to her to teach him. <laughs> that's up to her to teach him. Okay, so you can accept it. Is that what you're saying? I was. I don't know if I'll accept it, but I was, look, I was watching it. And I just heard, I was like, oh, this, this must be part of our culture. That's, that's why I tweeted it. Wait, nah, no, no, do, 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 do you guys remember what's called, what's his name? When Biscuit was slapping his mom's bum. No, no, imagine you come yeah. into the kitchen, yeah, and you see your son do that. Like, I can't, we gotta fight. <laughs> that's it, 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 it's just, yeah, it, it's, it's just actually, no, that, that whole thing is weird. And, but, and the way it was brushed, let's go back to that. The way it was brushed aside, like, it was nothing. But that's how the internet works, man. We get mad about something 15 minutes later. But we, I wonder we, what we his boys on. would have said. Now, yeah, in that group chat, man, they'll be flaming you. Oh, if you're allowed to do that to your mom, yeah, the group chat, everything goes in the group chat. The thing is, <laughs> no, no, and no, the thing no. is, Trump goes, that's rude. He posted it. That, it wasn't hacked. Do you, do you know sometimes I always, I sit down, I'm like, you posted this. Unprovoked. Like you thought this was cool. Unprovoked. That's that's like when at least when fucking academics they said he, he said he was hacked when he tweeted bad titties or some <laughs> bad bunny bad baby has some mad titties for a fifteen year old and he said he was hacked because that's what you that's what that's, you have to see. That's what everyone be saying. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's what you have to see. The funniest hack was upset. I like I like men now. <laughs> Alright, upset. <laughs> anyways, anyways, oh, we're 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 back. It's tragic to the game. We're still the podcast with the highest level of analysis that the culture needs. Oh, it's Uncle Jay Wit. Uh, you know, she got a different voice. Nigga, the minus touch. That's it. It's it. <laughs> like, like, different when you hear it. Like, you know what's funny? We can never, ever get through an intro. Anyways, Big Ditch. It's a future boy, Big Ditch. And we got old man's very own. Go peasy. He brought gifts. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, this guy's trying to win an award or something. He brought gifts. Because he came with a fresh trim. Mm-hmm. He came in all white. Look at the and he's got Look at the watch. Look at the watch. Look at the watch. She was blinging in her eyes. Listen, you have to put your best foot forward. You have to charge it to the game. <laughs> this is the standard now. Everybody that comes on pod, this is the clip this year. Everybody that comes on pod, we expect gifts now. Of high quality. How much was this? Fifty euro. He said fifty euro for the bare minimum gifts on this podcast. Anyways, we got eighty updates. still. Well, what's, but yeah. what's going on, bro? Not much, bro. Thanks for having me. Actually, I wanted to ask this. Remember when you man started? Oh man. Yeah. There was like. There we go. A crew of you. Blazing like, squad. It, it started with like eight man. Blazing squad. <laughs> What is, where is, who's in, like, what's in that? What is Oman? man? Huh? How many people left? Because at one stage it was like, man, do you know Wolfgang, where Tyler and yeah. all them came bro, out? Bro, man, oh, like, this guy used to yeah, do yeah, subs. Yeah. This guy used to do subs. Okay, <laughs> you, this guy. This, you four people will do this episode. You four people do this episode. So, Listen, well, you, know, you, know, you know that, you know that um, saying, we all gotta eat. That, yeah. was, that was the mentality back then. But obviously, um, as time goes on, people, only a certain people kind of see the vision and just life. Kind of, we're also friends, like, but in terms of the commitment, I'm sure you guys are noticing in terms of this is this podcast thing can be a lot sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, I won't lie, I was getting tired of the tag blazing squad and all these, oh, like you said, uh, 
14 man deep squad but like um yeah it was just it started off as like a group of friends mm-hmm. just coming together mm-hmm. chatting shit like we usually do and back then podcast wasn't really a thing so we literally just got a mic thank god for simba we got a mic and we just started recording and then over time like maybe people could make recordings for one thing or the other so we got cut it down to like four mm-hmm. so at the stage it was just me simba um dami and yemi sorry and Toyo City, so five and then you had the subs shady and sam but now old man is just me and simba okay but we're now taking a leaf from your book and we're rebranding so yeah. we'll be coming out with a rebrand soon i don't want to give the tips yet in terms of the name but well, you guys signed in any new any any new members any what? New yes, members. Nah, 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 nah. Just nah, nah, nah. you know, me and Simba. Just me and It's not a real rebrand. You have to get cupcakes. That's when it counts. Don't worry. We get the whole shit back. You think we didn't, you think <laughs> we didn't see your roll up? <laughs> you think we didn't see your roll up? <laughs> Only cupcake counts. Well, yeah, anyways, yeah, welcome to the part. Anyways, we're at the Charge to the Game. So every week we do a segment. It's called What Are We Charging to the Game this week? And we talk about just our week, life in general, what else you may have taken this week that you want to share for the pod. So I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> you go? Okay, good. Why, so, why are you charging to the game this week, did So, anyways, Monday was my birthday. Hey, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, and I went, I went, I traveled, and I came back. And I came back to my car. You know, you park your car in the airport. Cool. I came back to my car. My car is like, you know, happy birthday, did you? Check engine light. <coughs> when you see that one, just... Well, did you fall on your knees? <laughs> Wait, no. That, that, that wasn't even when I fell on my knees. I, and he was saying, you know what, you need engine oil. I was like, come, let me go to the. Sure, there's a petrol station just to I was it. like, yeah, well, let me go to the petrol station, you know, pop in some engine oil. I, as I was driving, you know, when you slam on your brakes, yeah, mm-hmm. and it goes really hard. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to slow down, and my brakes was. I felt like I had to break my legs so oh. I couldn't slow the car. I was like, okay, all right. It has no power, no nothing. I was like, you know what? Just charge the game. Yeah, that I almost was... fell on my knees. Wait, okay. it's like, okay. You're saying that was on your birthday? The day after, the like day when, after I, when came I came back. back. So my car was like, happy birthday, bitch. And yeah. <laughs> what are you and charging to the game this week? Me? Woo! I got two charges. First Jeez. one is the Nigerian Embassy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah? You lot, yeah? <coughs> Fix up. Cause I saw three different fights. And it wasn't even about, like, anything serious. It was just out of sheer frustration. Mm. That place, man. I remember, I got there at, like, one. There's people that came from Galway, they were there since like six. And they got, um, I was there at one, I got seen at three, connect. And um, I was done by like four. They were there all day, bro. Mm. And they got seen and they got told, oh, they didn't have the right documents. Aye. Aye. Bro. Why is the process- I fell down on my knees for them. <laughs> <laughs> why is the process so like, why is it like that? What is it about it that makes the process so- I think they just all Yeah. Jordan, you're married to Nigeria, right? Mm-hmm. That answers your question, no? <laughs> like, but the, th- the thing about the Nigerian, Nigerian embassy, yeah, I've been hearing about how bad these guys are from when I, before I even knew what an embassy mm, was. Mm, mm, mm. But the thing is, it's like it's all them, all Nigerian embassies. Apparently, it's worse in Canada. It's worse in UK. Like, apparently, we have a good. Do you know how I knew it was fucked up? Niggas were celebrating that we had water and biscuit. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, at least we have food this time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'd be waiting there all day and they wouldn't be seen. And the thing is, if you leave for like to go get food and they call your name, oh, that's it. Come back, come back next year. Jesus. That's how deep it is. Like, so you're yeah, trying, you just have to sit there and firm it. So that's what you're trying to the game. Bro, no, no, no. What's the second one? Second yeah, one. Okay. Second one. Heritage. Inflation prices. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. my mistress was saying this as well. Up. I, four <laughs> items. I paid pay fifty euro. I had to look around to be like, who did I rob? Like, who Actually, did I offend? you know what? I say, as you say that, Charlie's. Yeah, that's I don't think Charlie's. Yeah, inflation. Ah, um, don't say allow Charlie's. The quality has gone down. No, I said man. I got Charlie's oh. the other day, and the inflation is mad, and, and the quality is it's like maybe I need to be more drunk or something. I I think it's one. It's the night out that makes the quality for mm, us. Mm. I said we've stopped going out. We just grab it if you're like I was. I wasn't even. Out. I was just at like a comedy gig, so I wasn't like at optimum drunk. You know, mm. party drunk. <laughs> <and> <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah, you know that. I'm just on a good vibe, and I'm eating. I'm like, that's nice, but it's not hit. It, it felt like it used to hit more back in the days. What am I charging to the game this week? Oh, I forgot to charge this ages ago, but I was fucking driving, and then I'm on the motorway. The toll is coming up. I'm like, come. Take the easy, like the uh, easy pass exit. Yeah, it says beep, then the thing goes up, and then it malfunctions. Then it comes down as I'm driving, and I break. I'm like, what the fuck? I break, 
and then I like, hit it. Because I, in my mind, I thought no. it was like, this is mecca. It's foam. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> I was like, but in my brain, Wait. I thought I was like, I was about to die. I don't about the M50 where you're like, no, you no, no, to, no, like, no. you know, like a regular toe. A regular, regular toe. Yeah, and yeah. then you take the easy and there's like still a barrier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the barrier yeah. went up, but then it went back down. Are you saying that beep? foam? It's, yeah, it's foam. It's foam. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a metal bar. I can't remember what happened to me, but something similar happened to me and it dropped on me. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I try to break, but like obviously, I'm going at a speed where mm -hmm. it does, I don't make it on time. And you're, do you know that one when you see you turn the radio down and you drive home? Take <laughs> <laughs> your life. What, because does you're like, what the fuck no, just happened that, right now? That is so true. Even sometimes, when, when if I'm trying to park in a spot that's a bit too tight, turn off the music real quick. Yeah, <laughs> but I actually did a course, obviously, like I started a new job recently, and they tell you what the way that happened because when you are thinking quick, you have to do it like. In, like when you're thinking slow, mm -hmm. you have to stop everything else. Say if you're like walking really quick and someone asks you what's two times two, you can say four and keep walking. Mm -hmm. But if someone's asks you what's 40 times 17, you'd be like, ah, you, you have to kind of pause. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why your brain has to slow down. So that's why, you t even if it's not making like, I thought that that's probably the only thing I've learned in this new job for, from it. <laughs> like so far in this I'm new job. How not to die. <laughs> how, how to just you think quicker. I actually wanted to ask you because you, you've been saying this for a minute and I want to talk when you come on the pod. Well, you think UK rap is better than. U.S. rap. I think that I didn't. I didn't say that, but I get. The, I get the argument. Well, well, and here's my opinion. Okay. I think there, the UK music is just below in the sense of like when we start comparing. Mm -hmm. Reason being is these, especially. Okay, here's the analogy. The U.S. scene has a lot of music. A lot. A lot. But a lot of rappers that we also know that are mid, mm. like quite mid. Forget the Kendricks, the Coles, the big guys, but they're mid rappers. Let's say the B list. Who would you the classify UK? as a B list rapper? Jack Hardo. Okay. Um, my humble opinion, the baby. I don't think the baby is a mid rapper. The baby. Yeah, yeah, no, no. If Cole, Kendrick, Drake, they're the big guys. Are the big guys. Yeah, the, the so, baby's not that level. So Jack Hardo, the baby. I don't want to say Lil Baby. Lil like, Baby's like in yeah, the middle. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's not there yet, but he's he's, he's breaking separating through. himself from I the rest. I throw Gunna in there. Um, but yeah, those guys. But then you get, let's say, the UK scene, the, mm -hmm. midi, the midi rappers. I won't even lie. Just top of my head. I, I put Young Bane against any of them. A young Bane against the baby? Yes. Young Bane against the only, baby. The only, the, the, only, the only thing the baby has is the, the, his flow. Well, where did you class for Randy Rich? Let's, let's see this. Ooh. Is I he, like Ruddy. Uh, no, so, yeah, that's what I mean. Is he? But, he's is, made though. He's made, especially so on his think, last album. Okay, so, his last album wasn't great. So you think Young Bane and will take Dark Ruddy Rich? Yeah. Okay, Young Bane was a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Young Bane was no, a stretch. I get, but overall, I, I, I get the point you're, you're like you're making, and it's actually not but, but, as wrong as I thought it was. Going yeah, to be. but like, okay, so let's let's talk about the UK versus US music in terms of culture. Who who do you kind of vibe with more? Because we're close to the UK. Why? I, so closer to the UK. I, is that I, only reason? Yeah. Pro it probably, if we lived in, let's say, maybe I don't know, where is it close to America? Canada. S somewhere in Canada, we we'll probably be majority. I know Toronto vibes with the UK, UK scene a lot, but outside of that, I would I would assume that it's very influenced by the US scene. Dude, I want to hear what you said before. I like, I obviously yeah, because we're closer, right? But I also I also just think the quality of music. That has been like if you take away fans, mm. right? Because I feel like fans and numbers are what really has set it apart. If you gave the UK scene the same money that the US scene has, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Fact. Like if like if you go through like a lot of a lot of music that comes out of the US has been mid recently. Mm -hmm. Like like I've I found myself listening to a lot less US music unless it's like if Pusha T comes out, alright, cool, let me go listen to that. Cold if this go if this comes out, I'll cool. Like if Kendrick, Kendrick's gonna drop in like what three days? Three days. I'll go listen to that. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'm not just gonna, if I'm just throwing on a playlist, I'm going to the UK man. Which like if I want to listen to some drills, some raps, and whatever, like the lyrics are better. The like obviously like I vibe more with it because mm. it's stuff that I'm like, oh shit. I remember I was listening to D Block Europe and he was talking about I my niggas in Lucian. Oh shit, I'm in Lucian right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, the, 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 that's the really that's what relatability. I, I like you, you can be in Lucian or even like you can be strapped on and you'd be like, oh, this okay. is what Dave is rapping about. So okay, I get that, right? Now, let's talk about okay, who is better, the UK or the US? What you, okay, yeah, let's define this criteria. When you say better, what are we talking about? If we're talking about rapper, rappers, the UK has better rappers. Like the like ability pure, of rapping. Ability like, ability rapping. Of rapping. Okay. Okay. like when we talk okay. about rap, 
they have it. When we talk about who makes better music within hit, this genre of hip hop, because they created it, obviously. Honestly, I still think they, I still think they, 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 no, they, 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 Atlantic Records only moved to the UK what a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. That now, um, what's his name? Reg Three Two is the creative director. Why Reg Three Two? Because he's one of the best. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But UK are still like what 10, 20 years behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when when I say I see the argument, when you hear some of the UK stuff, you hear the you hear the intentionality in like J Hus. What rapper is like J Hus in America? J Hus hates it as well. We always say J Hus has a like. It's, but you could say that Jay Huss is a really good example that you used to in this argument because he has such a specific niche sound that nobody else does it. But when you listen to, if I say drill, you you find that sound a lot more. Jay Huss, okay, like, this Jay Huss is an example. I'm like, yeah, I can't because I, I even I would agree. He's like, it's such an, it's kind of when Lil Wayne started rapping. Mm. Nobody rapped like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah, everybody yeah. would rap with bars, Jay Z, Eminem. They always yeah. bars. But when Wayne started rapping, Easy, it wasn't bars. just the bars. It was it also was the mannerism, the style, the and the delivery. delivery. The punchline. Yeah, the punchline. Nobody rapped like that. So in terms of us, he makes a sound. I agree with you. That sound is like for some. It's like unique to and, him. And you say that you say that to him. Mm. There's more like that in UK in terms of unique mm. H. Mm -hmm. RD came, but okay. RD can't do what H does, and All H right. can't do, do what RD does, and mm -hmm. RD can't do mm -hmm. what Central C does. So that just that you ha you thing. feel you get more range in sound within the UK than you do in the US. I Whereas know. in the US, what I feel, you do get that range, but it's in a different manner. It's like Atlanta has a sound. Okay, New York I has a sound. But LA has a sound. It's kind of more region but, based and but everything. Yeah, is, but that's once again, it's just like even you can say the, you can say the same thing about. You say the same thing about the UK, like the people from Brom, like uh, millions and them has a completely different mm, sound to mm, like the, mm, the mm. likes of the likes of Dave. And once again, it's a lot of it is money. Like if you gave, if you, like imagine you gave Dave the same budget that you gave Drake to make to make an album, mm -hmm. what he will come up with is in, will be insane. Whereas the little baby can can just pop off in his hood and like pop off in his state, and he's and he's it's he's he's on the same amount of money as like a. I can't think of someone like someone, someone here, but like he's on like a yeah, crafty, yeah, yeah, like a crafty yeah. corner. In, in, you know in US, if you're big in Atlanta, you're, you're, you can be you're, 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 you're a millionaire, you're a millionaire. You know and you're just big in like. Well, but that's the thing; those states are as big as nations. Do you know that that kind Literally. of way? like so the state of California never... is just as big as the. the it's a country. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, a country. So, like it has its own laws, everything. It's a country. Like your point is actually like very like it's really high. I was ready for you. Yeah, my thing is at like you said in the top end. Okay, and we could now, argue about now. yeah about, about infrastructure. I agree. Kanye, Cole, Kendrick, Jay, that like like all of those. I think the top end compared to who's in the top end of the US of the UK market. Wretch, Dave, Stormzy. Dave, Stormzy. Dave, Stormzy. Stormzy. But I think the US in the top tier is level levels yeah. above, and in the mid tier, there's arguments to be made. If Gunna, Lil Baby, Future are all the mid level rappers. Mm -hmm. Compared to the HRDs, just conversations. Yep. So I think if the top okay. is very, it's much better for me, and the middle is a competition, then the US, but I also the US is a better market that produces okay. hip hop music. But I also, me. but once again, once again, I don't want to give it it's, to you. One, no, once again, it's, no. it's, it's, it's peas, bro. Yeah. Like, like, I'm like, okay, this is the thing, right? Let's let's look at let's look at the likes of let's look, you know let's take Kendrick right mm -hmm. let's take Kendrick and Rich mm -hmm. do you get what I'm saying mm -hmm. when we when we're talking about lyrical ability and stuff like that Rich is a bloody genius yeah, yeah. but he doesn't have he doesn't have the same infrastructure and the same no. amount of fans and stuff like that so if I'm 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 talking about oh, talent sorry, here sorry to call you sure skeptical in there. yes no, no, no. But in I'm, terms of talent of rapping that's a different argument okay I'm talking about Pusha T is probably I think Pusha T in terms of just ability to that's, rap that's an example. is probably one of the best rappers I've heard mm -hmm. but he's not as big as like I think it's, when it comes to ability to rap it's better than Drake at rapping okay but, but it's not as big as Drake it's not as great as Drake in terms of okay. overall making hip hop music if mm -hmm. that makes sense okay Bro. let's 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 through this perspective we're talking about the big guys here but the big guys like Kanye Cole Kendrick them man they had people that they can draw no, source no, from. I, I Kanye agree. had Jay. 
Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Who yeah. else? Cole had J. <laughs> um, there was Nas, Nas there was Biggie. There was people no, that I, had already done it. I but agree. whereas Wretch and 3 2 SK, they have they're, to. That's them. No. And it's that's them. I, I, I guess like, the argument you guys are making is very valid in terms of P's, in terms of that. Like, it's an example of what people say if Gerard, for example, I always use football analogy, it's easy. If Gerard was in the Chelsea or the United teams, he would have won as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he wasn't. So I we have to look at it for what it is, right. even if it's unfair. But like, if, okay. I'll Even say, if I think Gerard was the better of the three midfielders in terms of just playing football, happen, but no. I don't think he was the greatest because you have to k- take into account what they won, how much they scored, what, and you could be like, yeah, but if he was in those teams, he would have won. But he wasn't, so we can't really okay, make yeah, that argument. You can say like, yo, but they don't have peas. That's fair. When the peas get there, they will level up the 10, 15 years behind. But I'm looking at this as for what it is right now. I think the top guys are so much better. Not so much, but like, that, I don't want to disrespect David Stormzy or whatever. They're a lot better than the other top guys in terms of like just if you do an average. And the middle guys, like you said, they can compete. So I would lean towards the US market, personally. Question. If the UK top guys had the same infrastructure as the US guys, Ooh. would you say the UK then would be better in terms of making better music? I think it would be closer because I think Kanye's best hip-hop musician of all time, so... I don't think anybody that has just. I don't think anybody that has in the UK that I've seen. Dave. Maybe Dave. Give you that. maybe Dave, Dave has that talent. Dave, Dave maybe Dave has that sure level of talent. talent. Yeah, Not, yeah, 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 but you need a maybe. level of madness. And, I, I I also think and creativity <laughs> and like in production and like I think Kanye when it comes to producing rap and putting sounds yeah, together, we know, we he's know, a great we to know, do it. We know. I don't know if UK has that level of talent. I would say Dave maybe because he's so young and so seasoned that I don't know what is like he'd be capable of. Like sixteen, bro. Yeah, bro. I'll give R- it to Dave. I to Jamal Edwards, but I grew up on SBTV and Dave was one of like the first, not the first, but I used to watch F64 bars mm-hmm. and I watched Dave's F- F64, could not believe he was 16. Mm-hmm. Like, and he was rapping about his brother mm-hmm. Ooh, who was cool. in jail. And then when I listened to Psycho Drama again a couple of weeks ago, bro, it was literally like a letter to his brother mm-hmm. and like his artistry is it's sick. But just to see what he's done, in the last what six seven years, he's next in terms of taking UK to the yeah yeah no, to, I, I to agree. the US. Mm-hmm. But maybe last question on this: If you have someone like J Cole, you know his content, mm-hmm. and you have someone like Reg Three Two, mm-hmm. similar enough in terms of in story, terms of like style yeah. story like yeah mm-hmm. rapping yeah. That's what I'm saying in the sense like when if it you comes, yeah strip away infrastructure put them in the room i agree because in that's ca- in that sense we're talking talent for talent that's fair enough. like that, like the jared analogy if you tell me lampard jared talent for talent i'm telling you jared is the better player mm. but if you tell me let's look of what they've done and i i get what you guys are saying it's maybe not a fair comparison because he had leadership he was signed by jay-z one of the greatest hip-hop artists of all time he, he had new york he lived in new york city so he had the infrastructure where hip-hop is like kind of mm-hmm. born he had the infrastructure so obviously it's what we always say about like white people, for example, as black people. You have a head start. You're starting over there. I'm starting over here. I have to catch up and then pass you. Whereas if you just maintain that level, I'm never gonna catch up to you. Right. So I don't like explain it in person. I actually don't. This talent for talent, yes. There's talent, Thank definitely you. talent in the UK. I just wanted you to see my perspective. Yeah, he was going off with me. So <laughs> no, no, I just, nah, you can't <laughs> shit, bro. I just thought you meant in terms of like when he talks about makes hip, hip making hip hop music. Like, I I always say I don't think Kanye is the best rapper. But when it comes to putting it all together, no, I don't like think him. anybody does it better than Kanye. Can personally. Can I ask you guys a question? Are you guys fit? Like physically fit? <sighs> Good question. Because this is why I was thinking about don't ask me why I was thinking about this. I was thinking about the beep test, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that thing. That bro. thing was the most annoying I, thing. For like ever. a year oh, I had a PTSD of the bleep, man. <laughs> the bleep. Nah. But yeah, no. What do you guys think? You I, do? How how do you think you do on the beat test today? No, I would. I, would, I played football the other day, like last week for the first time, and like they were telling me, you know, that four people. So I'm trying to like interact, engage, you know, do plays, and they're like, oh yeah, trying to gas me. I'm like, I'm telling them, like, look, I don't think it's a question of ability because I used to be all right. I just think it's a question of like how long can I keep moving yeah. without stop. I go out, I start outfield, they put the other blanket on the other team so he can guard me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they separated us. So then I'm like, first 10 minutes by touch, I'm like, ah, it's, this is kind of obviously I'm playing against slower people because they're older and doing but And then, <laughs> what? <laughs> first two minutes, black man is breaking your arms. Yeah, yeah, you don't have 10, 15 minutes later, I'm going, I'm lying down on the, um, on the ground, relaxed, I'm in goals. I'm like, <laughs> I said, why do people choose to go out and do activity? So right now, it's probably the most unfit I've been, but because I don't, Explodes when you do treadmill, yeah, mm-hmm. you feel grand. 
But when you do explosive movements, yeah. it's a complete different um, feeling. You're like, nah, this ain't the one. When acceleration kicks in, yeah, yeah, yeah. slow you stop, have slow movement. stop movement, it's actually more explode, effort right? on your body than just running on a treadmill. It's, it's so exertion. So I don't think I'm fit at all. I think I, I, I guess the beat test. Yeah, we did. You know what? There was a, there was there was always one, one, one person. Like there was always one person because you know the blue test. Well, in my school, yeah, when on P, when we're doing the blue test, he's like, after you guys are done, you can just play football in it. Mm. But there was always one person that was doing too much. Like they'll keep going. It's like they're on like six, seven. Everyone else is stopped. They keep going. Mm. I'm like, bro, who, 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 who are you trying to impress, man? There's no scouts around here. Like, what <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, went to an boys' school as well. Hey, just trying to show you, man, that he's the guy. Football, I'm five amongst the pack. We just wanted to play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember there was a guy. I actually played football with him. He plays for Wickham, actually, Daryl Horgan. Um, went to secondary school with him. This guy, every bleep test he would complete. Like, it, wait, it finishes? Yeah, as in... As no, yeah, it finishes. Finish, yeah, bleep test finishes, <laughs> yeah. Where did you go to school? The beep, um, go away. Oh, you grew up in Galway? Yeah, I'm from the West Side. Oh, All right, how, was, how was it? Going it was Memphis. different, man. You guys <laughs> called those village boys back then, but like... It was good. But then everybody went to college then. Exactly. <laughs> like, after exactly. one. Exactly. Did you tell you? Well, to be honest, I, went to, I, I lived in Toon when I, when I first came to Ireland. Did you fuck? Yeah, I swear to God. I lived in Toon. Toon is a village. It, it, bro, it, bro, you grew up in Galway. You grew up bro, in Galway. When, when I told you, I, outside was, was, just, was just forest. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's a bit of houses now, but yeah, it's still forest. Like, but yeah, I, my, my story is weird. So I grew up in Dublin. Hmm. Like, that's how I know most of the people. I grew up in Lucan up until secondary school. Mm-hmm. Moved to Galway for secondary school. Stayed for college. And then moved back to Dublin. It was one of them things, where, obviously, in Dublin, we at least we had black people here. In Galway, Bro. secondary school. Bro! Me and my nigga Tobogo, shout out. <laughs> that was, it was only us two, man. Us against the world. Like, there was not, not much black people until third year um, in secondary school. Then Kennedy and Tim came in. I think there were, like, four of us up until... College, but how was your accent though? I was grand <laughs> from the west, <laughs> the west to go away. Have you, have you guys ever just thought about like being like because obviously, like a lot of the places we go to where the minority mm-hmm. you know have you ever just been like thought about imagine just being somewhere and just being like everyone is black, so I'm just a like, regular person here, like I'm not a black guy, yeah? No, I wouldn't know how that feels. That's it's actually funny that, that we would know how that feels that where you're just you're just somewhere and you're like, I'm just one off, like everywhere I go. In Nigeria, the minute I touched down in the airport, even though it was hot, I just felt like I was home because all I okay. saw was black. Like there was just black. You actually, let's actually ask you've been back. Do you, when you're in Nigeria, do you feel like yeah. this is my home? Yeah. And do they, yeah. the people around you, because obviously I know people that go, that are African and they go back to their countries and they tell them you're the European kid. So they, then they're like, they feel like rejected by their own people when they're home and they come here and they tell them you're a black bastard. And then they feel rejected. <laughs> like, you're <laughs> <out> <laughs> <your> home. <laughs> they feel rejected. That's me, home. that's me, bro. I actually feel like that. Yeah? Yeah. But you feel home in Nigeria? Yeah, I don't know how. Well, how often do you go back? That's the thing. I only, that time I went back, 2017, was my first time going oh, since okay. I moved to Ireland. Okay. And I haven't been back since because of COVID, mm-hmm. which is why I want to go back in July. But for me, especially around that, I went in 2017, that was. Let's be honest, guys. We weren't really proud of being from our home countries growing up, mm-hmm. right? It was more of like an identity thing that I think now we're all comfortable. Being from where we are, Americans they want to be African Americans until Wakanda came around, <laughs> and they were there for four hundred years. <laughs> well, yeah, go on. Literally, but like, yeah, I was just going through a phase where like, oh, I love being Nigerian. Like, I love Afrobeats. I love Amala. I love all this stuff. And you get home, you're seeing roadside Suya. You're seeing poverty. Not that like, well, I'm proud of that, but it just shows you how real our parents had to like mm. work to get us here and the things that we take for granted. So when I say home. You know that thing that you're connected to like your roots and all that stuff. I never re- really used to believe it. Jay also used to say, if you don't know your roots, you're worthless. Not that everybody's worthless, but it's like cancel him. <laughs> <laughs> cancel Jay <J-O's. laughs> But it's like you need to know where you come from in order to know you. And yeah, that's why I felt like it was home because bruh, like you said, it was just seeing loads of black people going to restaurants and black customer service, even though customer service is shit. Mm. But you know, you're seeing your own people and yeah, it just felt like home, man. No, there is definitely... Do you go back home? You? you me? You. Oh, no, I've never, I've never been back, but out of everybody since we've been here in 2002, only my dad's been back, even my mom. Really? Has been back, but she's at a place where her her mother and all her family live in France and Belgium. So the most... That's new home, man. Yeah, the most home I felt is like literally a street in Belgium called Matongue. 
where you go and it's just Congolese people in the markets, restaurants, yeah. barbers, and you're there, you're walking, like you're just walking through the streets here in Lingala, left, right, and center. And you're like, this, that's probably the most, like, like little taste of mm. like what it mm. was to be because they're just comfortable amongst their people yeah. and they're drinking the, uh, the fantas you would see at home, mm -hmm. the food you the would bottle. see at home. The yeah, so that's probably, and in a, in a way, Going to church and being in a community mm -hmm. church all my life mm -hmm. gave me like okay, there's a sense of like community, a community and identity that has never wavered or has left. I don't know if the case or like, people don't have that community at all and they grew up and they never go back. Fuck. I don't know what happens because I could hear Congolese banter or Congolese music and I know what and like I know what it is without ever being back just because I still had that community. And like, that would help you with your journey in terms of like finding who you are because yeah, yeah, yeah. you had that early on to have that experience. But mm -hmm. a lot of us wouldn't have even had that experience, you know, growing up or going to like where a community where it's mm -hmm. just us. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people go into the white community and now they identify as like mm -hmm. that's who they are. And like I say this a lot and I say it to my brother, I was like Grow, like the older I got, the more I got detached from the church. But because of all the bullshit that comes yeah. sometimes we go into the that church. Happened, yeah. But I then I understood what it did for our parents. When you're so far away from your people, it's easy, we're kids, we can integrate left, right, and center, but when you're so far away from your people and people that look like you, talk like you from your environment, they, there are people that weren't even holy or didn't even believe, no. but they would come to church just because just cause they know there's people there that are going to speak Lingala, there's people there that are going to understand me, and I was like, if any, like, obviously the church does a lot of things for people, but the one thing I said it did for a lot of people, it gave them a sense of community and belonging, because sometimes even me, I'm like, I haven't been to a church in ages and i don't know if it's because it's something spiritual or if i just want to be amongst my people yeah sometimes you know that kind of way I no, but that is the thing because like even like going to like okay so when i went to school i didn't know anybody mm. like i literally went by my by myself do you get what i'm saying and it's one of those things like yeah obviously you meet people in college or whatever but if you really go somewhere and you want to meet people bro find the church bro, bro. Mm -hmm. they should tell you yeah for the four years that everyone that was in go church was the motive like mm -hmm. oh yeah we had motives but it was like a link up for some reason on Sunday because we want to use church once they gave me they gave me bread or something food food yeah yeah, yeah. Food. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah 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 like if you don't speak that language, you're like, and when you hear that, it's like it reminds me of home. And yeah, let's not like, come, like especially in church, if the music is good, people yeah. are gonna say, like forget. I'm not gonna lie, my dad's a pastor, and I don't be hearing what he be saying. <laughs> I, I'm there for the music, mm -hmm. and it's like that's a universal thing. Yeah, if people recognize good music, so good music, good food, good vibes, good vibes. I always, I always, Jesus. Jesus. I always say Congolese music greater, and it's cause, it's just because I grew up on it. I don't even know how if it's like really good but comments actually local. when you hear music especially when you hear gospel music in your own oh, language yeah. that you, it does something hey, different I give it to the community for it does something music. different the guitar is you love you yeah, know, that, that, same, spiritual. that same instrumental right? spiritual that same instrumental you hear for circular music <laughs> that, that, that we praise Jesus with this <laughs> what's going what was I going to say to you um, I was going to ask wait, go ahead, no go no I was going to ask did you guys see that that Kendrick thing I, I'm actually seeing your side on this Kendrick thing you know his music sometimes isn't just digestible. It's, it's so thick. it's so artsy and it's so you have to really watch it and engage with it. Sometimes, especially when it's the first single of an album, why can't I just play like, when Luke. Push a T play Diet Coke? I just play them like that. Ah, it's a good vibe. But mm -hmm. with Kendrick, I'm like, oh, he's changing faces. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because he's changing faces, I have to listen to the lyrics, don't I? Go. I I, I have a lot to say about look, Kendrick. <laughs> my, my my thing with Kendrick is like, like look. Love Kendrick. He can rap. He can mm. do everything. Mm. He can. But you it's just him my me. my one you. problem is that like. Bro, man, sometimes it's I just want something to click in the playlist. Yeah, page. it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, bro, like, I. When was when was the last time on his last? I think Dam is probably the most the one that you could probably go to the most. Dam, Good Kid, Massey. But the other two, I bro, when was the last time you can even go back to that music? I didn't even go to Good Kid, Massey before Dam because that Me too. had more digestible songs. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna cap. I'm not a Kendrick fan. Like he's like you said, he makes great music. He does it for the culture. We know his rapping style. Okay, I don't, I don't say, I don't know if fan is the right word because I do listen to his music, but like, what did you say? Like, bro, I'm not trying to read a thesis. Yeah, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah, in college, bro. Like, Simba said an episode that oh, he doesn't listen to Cole anymore because Cole raps out of Kendrick raps out. <laughs> I, I can't stand Kendrick, yeah. but bro. Every day they kill the nigga and he's going to I'm like, bro, it's not every day about like black violence and your brothers. Nah, nah, I hear it because when it dropped it, I was like, okay, first, because for me, I was like, 
I think Push I was like Push is probably gonna be the rap album of the year for me, but let's yeah, see what Kendrick let's see what Kendrick does. And I see this and I'm like listening to it, but then I'm watching the video and I'm seeing faces change. I'm like, I have to see the faces change that. and then pay attention to what he's singing. As the usually what artists do is for the first single, it's something you can vibe to that mm -hmm. makes me like say, Oh, let me go hit that music and see what else is on there. I, oh this, I'm like it's just too hard to digest look, look, on it normal. Once again, I saw another one story in Black Black. I'm telling you, I'm not seeing it again in a week. Like, and that, and that's the truth. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, okay, even look at Jack Harlow's single, um, what's called? First of all, mid album. Like, I couldn't I could even make it through. I couldn't listen. I couldn't no, listen. I didn't listen bro, to Since you said that, I didn't listen to bro, it. I don't, it was, want to, I don't want my heart break. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a bunch of samples and mid shit. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. But it's kind of like, you, like, I hear that everywhere. I hear it on TikToks. I hear it here. And I'm not saying make music for TikToks and shit like that. But Kendrick's music isn't something like, if I'm walking down the street, yeah. I can't see someone driving by and be like, oh shit, that's new Kendrick, isn't it? Mm. Do you Kendrick know makes music for people that like follow Dr. Umar. Oh, God. <laughs> and kind of people. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All the niggas that are trying to, after 9 to 5, you now want to read another thesis? Nah. Yeah. Because I, I remember I saw you, like, your rant recently yeah. on Kendrick, and Deji's been saying this for a minute, and I was, I've was, i always been like, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. But then, that kind of look. So I'm telling you, look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing people say, "Oh, he's standing on the left side and he's beating." And that's I the, saw that's that. The, I was like, "Brother, you don't have time, man." <laughs> like, I saw, I saw um, a snippet of Joe Budden's podcast, and he was like, "Oh, the boogie man is here. Oh, the candy man, the, the main rapper is back." Oh, Chelsea. No, the main rapper. Liverpool. But the the main. Oh, uh, I was like. Yeah, he's good. Like, but you, it, it stands out because, like, we're saying the mid rapper, the Gunners, mm. Rowdy Rage, little bit, like the baby. Their sound is so similar that when you get some con yeah. quote unquote conscious music, yeah. and it's and what I think my where Cole has found a good medium now. Like yeah. Gage was saying initially, yeah. he used to make that kind of heavy yeah. music. Yeah. Now recently, he's found a nice medium about like he makes it digestible. And we heard it's track heavy. London. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look. Sometimes, like this is this is my thing. Yeah. Sometimes just come out and pop your shit. Yeah. That's it. Like, yeah, bro. That's like, it. Like, what's called? It's it's like, like, when, 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 it, when it comes to when it comes to like fucking problems, Kendrick. Mm, mm, mm. Bro, you're not touching that. Shh. What? Mad City, Kendrick. They said she eyeing me like a nigga don't exist because <coughs> I is an imaginary number. Like she's eyeing me like a nigga don't exist. I was like. Did he mean that or did we just put that out here? No, him? okay, don't get me wrong. I like shit like that. Yeah. I like, I like, I like putting like, yeah. like that. Yeah. But not all the time, bro. bro. It's, I, like, I, don't, I don't need to, like, I'm trying to study and I'm trying to listen to music. I'm not trying to study what you're saying. It's just focus on it. But it's not like music instead of it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, like sometimes, yeah. Like I like I like people being on their artistic shit and all that. Like mm. one of the reasons why I fuck with Dave so hard, yeah, is because he'll come out and he'll give you a hangman or a seven minute black, mm. and then he'll come out with Stram and say, "Look, I'm still killing you." No. <laughs> come out with System or come out with Lazarus. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like I like I like the I like the diversity. The, 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 the diversity. Do you get what I'm saying? But I was gonna ask you guys, yeah, take it back to your childhood, yeah. What's the most problematic cartoon you've ever watched? Oh, and first I'm gonna start with Powerpuff Girls, yeah. Those three little girls were terrorists. <laughs> um, what they did to Mojo Jojo on a regular basis so, <laughs> is not the guy that attacked, um, um, what's his name? Dave Chappelle? Yeah, they say they fucked him up like Mojo Jojo. <laughs> and you know what, that's actually where I thought about it. <laughs> oh, I saw because a bandage. Those girls, like, they would leave his brains hanging out every single time. It's not even time. that. It's like, Professor X, bro, get your children, He's bro. Find them. No, wait, also, also, <laughs> what is... Why is a grown ass man making little children? Yeah, he created them. Yeah, 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 yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Cartoon yeah. Network. Yeah. We need to have a word. 2021, that's not enough. Yeah. Lie. I know you're like, not. Girls. Girls. Mm. girls. Three little girls. Sugar, yeah. spice, everything nice. <laughs> 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 I remember actually watching that with my sister when she was younger. Do you know how many so many many innuendos be putting kids' cartoons? Oh, like, kids, oh. like kids are just not catching. I, I, I rewatched Simpsons. Maybe Simpsons might be my most. Probably yeah, but mine. I think Simpsons is more for adults though. Exactly, but I didn't know that as a child. Yeah, 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 Do you know yeah, yeah. what I mean? I'm, I re I re I was rewatching it earlier on this year. I'm just catching on how horny Homer was <laughs> half the time. <laughs> nigga was always trying to smooch Marge after fucking up. <laughs> the nigga would fuck up and trying to smooch. And then he's a, not a shit. He was a good dad, but sometimes he was just like. If I was Bart, I get it. <laughs> but I get it. I get it. Nah. Lisa, Lisa, the smartest in the family, can't even go to fucking jazz school. Nah. Maggie can't, can't talk. Fuck. For me, it was. Maggie's out here murdering people. <laughs> Nothing what happened. you shot Mr. Burns in there? Yeah. Oh, also, so, Mr. Burns and Smithers, come on. What the fuck's happening there? 
they're, they're definitely lovers. <coughs> but, like, it's confirmed, <laughs> it's confirmed Mr. Smithers is gay. Oh, okay. Mr. Oh, no, Burns, it, was, it was confirmed that Smithers was gay. Yeah, yeah, but Mr. Burns... Mr. Yeah, one of them was gay, definitely. Like, maybe he's holding on for a dude. Ah, maybe it's fluid. It's 2020. Whatever year they made it, <laughs> you, know, that, you know how sometimes they retrospectively like give them their sexual orientation. Like recently, I heard SpongeBob was gay. I was like, when did they? Was he always? I thought it was supposed to be asexual or something. See, like they just out of out of all the stuff, I was just watching SpongeBob. But like, later on, they're just like, that's him now. Like, all right. What's if that anyone did, I thought it'd be Squidward. Why Squidward? Hmm. He's, he's just moody. He doesn't want like he doesn't like people around. Gasoline. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know what else? You know what else? You know who else? Yeah, Johnny Bravo. That man. No, 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 that guy was a creep. First of all, he taught us to just only work on chest. That's all. No, and just move to everything. Oh, in the meet, that guy had no chance in the meet. He would just the way he would just approach and talk to. And he never, he never collected one though. Why? Why was that the like the premise of the cartoon, and why did it work? Mm. As a cartoon, I don't know. This it was a typical American job, job kind shit, of. Oh, you know okay. what I, mean? I think yeah, a bit like cringy. Yeah, a bit cringy, especially like getting rejected. Not getting rejected, but like, you got rejected on regular. On the regular, in the sense, like I think that's what game made. Was wack. Yeah, I think maybe that's what made it digestible because they use his rejection in humor, even though the the way he was approaching and talking mm-hmm. to like to women. It was like a bit weird, Yeesh. but then they they spun it. In this the one we're dissecting humor. these cartoons, I'm have to Ooh. call out some producers. Bro, no. if you go back and watch a lot of things retrospectively, yeah, you just because I was actually thinking about it. The only thing retrospectively that nobody would cancel is Vince McMahon because even though he did fucked up shit, we love that stuff. <laughs> Every, everybody I hear talk about WWE gets hyped. It was we actually one this. of the best periods of my life. You know? Facts. But if like, you watch some of those plot lines, you'd be like, how did you know? Vince, even, nobody's think, even gone back to cancel him. I think the funniest, the funniest was when Randy Orton like RKO'd one of the like rest, um, the female wrestlers, and like oh, nothing dude. happened. Female wrestlers, you get beat up by the guys all the time. Like it happened, bears. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is that no? <laughs> Look, especially the plot lines. Like, did that have anything to do with the plot? To get beaten at the end of it? <laughs> what, what, even, but even 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 with that, back then the female wrestlers were a joke. Like they were just like yeah. they were just they're like props. It was softcore yeah, porn. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Soft, like, they do brand panty it's match. Like Meg yeah. Stallion to rap. Oh, oh, wait, what? You don't think Meg can rap? No. Damn. I, I never know. Like I was on the hype of like, oh yeah, she's the best rapper because of her ass. But let's be honest, like. <laughs> okay, apart from Nikki, Nikki's the hardest rapper. Yeah. No. Yeah, I actually think Cardi has flow. No, no, Cardi, yeah. Yeah, Cardi. Cardi um, I'm trying to think. No name, but what's called? Really Lato. 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 Big Lato, yeah. She's yeah. Big. For, I was watching. Um, yeah, man said, I was man watching said what's called. Was I was watching um, Two and a Half Men, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I didn't know what Mulatto was until until the whole Mulatto thing happened. What happened? Like, what's called her name? It's literally, it's just literally, it's like a derogatory way to call someone like mixed race, whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's what Mulatto is, isn't it? So that's why she changed her name to Big Lavo. So I was watching it and um, Jake is going to school and he's going to school and they're like, oh, there's going to be the blacks, going to be whites, blah, 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 blah. And like, he's like, if there's a race war, he's like, Jake's like, what should I do? He's like, tell me a mulatto and you'll be fine. And I was like, so this is what we're doing. Oh, okay. Like, hey, but when happen? you start watching shit back, yeah, 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 yeah. you start finding yeah. all this kind of shit. Bro, and- funny is my wife and kids. Uh, when Junior was wearing, like, they were throwing out stuff and Junior was wearing an outfit, it's like, you look like a gay insect. Like, you can't say that <laughs> in this climate. <laughs> what is, that, that I always say this, and that's why we don't get as good as comedic yeah, com- content as we used to. Because we, Niggas are bitch. You have to be flagrant to have good comedy, and people have to be able to be like, you're gonna... And it's not, sometimes not even the, the actors. It's like, as an executive, I'm not gonna sign up on this. This, is the, this one's on air. Who signed this? Well, they said, Deji, you know the one. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, you, they're the ones that can suck. Yeah, now you lose your job and all that just before you get Chris Rocked. <laughs> what you guys make of comedians actually get attacked and slapped and all this? I don't get this, man. Like, we're living in such a hypersensitive mm. age where, like, people are taking offenses where, one, it shouldn't be taken. And even if it is, you're now physically assaulting mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Isn't that a crime yeah, where I come yeah. from? No, it, it, it definitely is a crime. I don't, like... Going to, I think it's even like the guy that went to a Dave Chappelle show with the full intention of attacking Dave Chappelle. That's some real ass. You see the weapon, bro, bro. That's some real ass. Hey, I saw, I saw, I saw the weapon. That's some to leave your house to be like today. I'm paying for these tickets. I'm plotting, and I'm gonna attack this guy when I see him. They bent that man's arm back like a chicken wing, bro. Like they finished him. Then the price is not even gonna get tried in front of the How, how do? But how do you even get that in? 
to the building. Like, <laughs> you know that uh, Twitter video where it's like, like check in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was at a comedy show actually recently. Maybe it's Ireland. The checks weren't really like this. They weren't great. Maybe because also maybe because it was a comedy show. And going there, the crowd was genuine, generally older. Let's be really honest, checking. though. The people that are checking, man, these guys are. They don't give a fuck about that joke. Nah, they're, just, they're just there for the pee, man. Yeah, you make if you make if I was there, me too. Uh, if you make me stand at the tree arena, I'm like, bro, come in. Yeah. So I don't like it. <laughs> Yo, my boy, like, like, my nice little twenty. Is like, oh boy, nah. Mister. At the comedy gig, obviously, I went to how was that about. actually? How was Ramsey Noah? Trevor, Trevor, Sorry, Ramsey, Ramsey Noah. Ramsey, no. Trevor Noah was actually a lot better than like, cause obviously we were about to tickets in twenty nineteen. So oh, you were one of them. Yeah. Movies. So obviously they got cancelled for two years. So yeah, don't really even have the motivation to go after two years ago. Two years later, but I'm like, you know what? 70, really quid, a... 70 quid per ticket. Let me just go and then I can say it's date night. So when they call me up, we haven't done date night in ages. I'm like, I took you to Trevor Noah. Smart man. <laughs> I took you to Trevor Noah two weeks ago. This is my plan. My plan already. But like I said, com- comedy is probably one of my favorite arts of like my favorite forms of art at the minute because mm. they they can be truthful, but because they make the truth digestible in humor, even if it comes out fucked up, people are laughing mm. and they can digest it. Mm. Whereas if you're sitting on the podcast and you say make the starting is only good because of rap, people are gonna be like, oh my god, so whatever. But if you make it funny and you put it in this comedy bit, the exact yeah, same yeah. punchline, it works. Even one of the like the true jokes he made is like, we beat the pandemic. Like, not that we just was beat it, we just got bored. Like the only yeah, yeah, yeah. we just was a boredom. After two years, people were like, nah, nah, nah that's good. Like mm-hmm. that, that's what it was. But the way he puts it and the way he makes it digestible, and you can talk about these politically. Mm. The serious topics. Different serious topics about like vaccine, pandemic, and how the governments handled it. But black and white people, and you're like, that, everybody's laughing, so it's a good time. That used to be comedy, though. Like, mm-hmm. if you look at the days of like Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor and um, Chris Rocks, even even Dave Chappelle, the early days, like they used to talk about political shit. Shit mm-hmm. was happening, but they made it funny. Yes, and it it was the climate for that. But even even Dave Chappelle, that's kind of why he left the whole kind of scene and. You know, we didn't see Stan, Kevin Hart was running the stand up scene for a yeah, while. For the, um, it was on every Michael movie. Che and all that. Because his funny was that just, it wasn't political. And then when he did get political, it wasn't even political, it was a tweet. Mm-hmm. They nearly cancelled him. That's the climate we're in. So imagine Dave Chappelle. Not, Dave Chappelle's trying to get, that's why he got attacked. Mm-hmm. He was coming, mm-hmm. he was coming mm-hmm. for a, a certain. And people don't know about Dave is like, because it's not just Dave, people that talk, that do the comedy gigs or that. Are comedians you don't know their lives you don't know like who they're around to know the jokes that they can tell or mm. how far they can go if you can't take it then you shouldn't be there do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. like, like I've, I've, we, we come from <clears throat> we come from a place where it used to be for if i don't like something i'm not gonna watch it mm. now it's if i don't like it nobody should watch yeah, it and yeah, it's yeah. just like it doesn't work it's, like that. it's not fair like i always think you think it's partly just because of our background as well that we can accept a little more people say more fucked up because i always find like foreigners maybe because we hear the way our parents would talk or even our un- uncle people back home they just say things so direct and so bluntly mm. that we can take it that, so when someone says it in a joke or in a podcast we're like that's that's not even that fucked up whereas a certain part of society they're so isolated from certain things of when yeah. they have a bad day it seems like it's the worst day ever yeah. like i saw recently one guy put up a tiktok and he says I sent. I told my mom I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very low and depressed. And the mom replied, "Can you feel high? Can you please feel high for me?" I'm like, that's the kind of response that like we would are used to or accustomed to that tough love. Like, like my dad was very big on tough love, and he will tell you as it is, and he'll tell you straight, and he'll make messed up jokes and say, and you kind of like you just okay, that's what the environment I'm used to. So when I'm hearing comedians, I'm here like Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. I'm like, these are like my my dad's political takes, mm-hmm. just. Covered in humor, yeah. Do you know that kind of way. Literally. So maybe it makes it easier for us to digest. But I, I don't know. That's what I wanted to ask. I just think it's it's character building, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. When, especially like you said, tough love, saying it bluntly, saying it direct. Like if you sugarcoat it, you're di- you're diluting it for that other person, mm-hmm. and then that means you're that you're saying that other person isn't capable of understanding mm-hmm. what you're saying. So if you say it directly and you accept it and you you deal with it in your own way rather than reacting, then it just shows you have character. Mm. But I think people that, not easily offended, but that take offense to everything, they need but, some character. But I, I think it's, it's just, it's just we've gone to this place here, and it's kind of like, people want to accept everything. And 
it's kind of like everybody should be accepted every feeling should be accepted everything should be this and that and it's kind of like i can see there there is definitely like i'm not gonna lie 90s 2000s we did some fucked up shit oh granted oh. do you get what i'm saying but not everything is fucked up do you get what i mean <laughs> mm. like because it's kind of like okay where do we stop accepting people do you get what i'm saying because like okay at one point we didn't accept people were gay come be gay do your thing at one point we didn't accept people were this at one point we didn't accept people were that but then it's going to keep going to a point because like at one point we're like you say you're identifying as a woman but you're a man mm -hmm. but now, now you want to participate in the line is when you want to now i'm actually seeing the line again i'm sorry to cut you off no, now the line is like okay you want to identify oh not just because you're identified you want to play in women's sport as a man mm -hmm. Now everybody's like, okay, but now we have to drop now, 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 now it's a, yeah, but that's feel how you want, but the, the truth is you can't participate but, there. But the thing is, but the thing is now there's going to be someone that's going to be like, you can't tell me that because that's against my rights. And then, then they're going to push the line again. Yeah. And then now it's going to be like, okay, what happens when it's like, remember when the whole Caitlyn Jenner thing happened? It's like, oh, you might be going to jail and... Are they gonna send? Are they gonna send Caitlyn Jenner to a men's prison or a female prison? Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, are you gonna send Caitlyn Jenner to a men's prison or a female prison kind of a situation? Mm. Because if I if I get locked up and I tell you I identify as a woman, I you can't send me there. I identify as a woman. Did you not see? What are you not gonna send me? Are you gonna send, what are you gonna send me? Do you know what I'm saying? And because there will be, I guarantee you, though, I, would, I could find people to fight like to I, to fight for my no, cause. No, you definitely could, but I think there's always like we've gone to the overcorrection. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm hoping now with the like the example I gave with the sports, I'm like, okay, we're starting to go back a little bit more because mm -hmm. even Trump came out recently and he made a joke. He's like, LeBron, I don't like you, but if you like me and you want to identify women, I come play for my sport. It it become a, a, to a point where people are, okay, we're obviously taking the piss now. Mm -hmm. The guy gets arrested since identifies a woman. Well, just it's a cop out, and it was like, oh, trial me, or oh, identifies a whatever trial me. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna. The okay, but then, but then, also, but then also, what happens? What happens when? Because because the the same way you can't tell me that oh, if I I'm coming and I'm identifying as a woman, and you have to now address me as a woman, right? Mm -hmm. If what if a sixteen year old goes, I identify as a twenty one year old. Give me that shot. Mm -hmm. But that, that, you can't, you can't, you can't I, tell me that I can't I, do that now. I agree, but that's why I think there's going to be an occurrence because the people will take the piss. Like if you're watching the Amber Heard case, though, because it's law. Like you're, you can't get alcohol until you're 21. Yeah, but the same the same thing is like okay if is um, it law though? What it's yeah. not. It, but there's certain there's certain things that might not be law, but it's strict. You know yeah, I I, well, I, like, I hear you. I'm just trying to find because I've been hearing what you're saying, but I think a lot of this is political, man. Mm. Like it's. Not that we'll never know the proper ins and outs, but straight away, do you guys remember Pastor Samania? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were she, she, they basically forced her out of the sport because they thought she was a man, mm -hmm. but she was a woman mm -hmm. with high levels of testosterone. testosterone. They were making it to press it while they were letting men compete with women, like, because she identifies women. Flip side, Serena Williams. Didn't they try and make her do like drug, mm -hmm. didn't they like heavily drug test her and mm -hmm. like assimilate her to a man? Well, she's not a man. But whereas these other guys are given the free license to, you know, pick and choose their orientation depending on whether it's age or whatever. For me, I just think a lot of this is very political in the sense like there's a lot of backward deals and mm. especially like a lot of these things are communities and these communities have legs, they have power, which is why the Dave Chappelle thing, I wouldn't put it past that, it was organized. Mm. Um, but yeah, man, I agree with you there that it is setting a dangerous precedent. It's like, yeah, you can just say, yeah, because I'm, six, uh, I'm 16, but I identify as 21. That's what's allowing people to do because they're seeing, oh, but this guy was a man yesterday and now is a woman, and he's now he has this different opportunities. I want those same opportunities, or I want different opportunities to the one I'm currently in. It's polit not political, but it's more, it's bigger than what we see on the surface level in my opinion do you do you guys have any conspiracy theories or believe anything about aliens are real there is no way aliens aren't real it's impossible that they're so real. people don't believe that like how 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 self-centered do you have to be to think that you know when you watch those videos where it's like earth the sun the other sun yeah, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. we are less than a grain of sand pull up then. and <laughs> They're gonna be sending nude pictures up into space. Yeah, so, I saw that. Like, first of all, come on. They're, they're saying, yo, come, we're here. <laughs> There's life here. 
But what, what, like, do you guys have any other things? Because, like, I hate the, I hate the way people treat conspiracy. I do theories. love conspiracy. Now, well, the, the best thing I like about conspiracy theories when the, the points are slapping. Do you know some of these COVID conspiracies that about oh, how to break? I, 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 I was like, I was sold. Uh, the first time, I was five G. Who's five G? What's five G doing? It's bad, it's bad for the huh? baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to control population control, but I, like obviously, obviously, we'll never know the truth. Cause my thing is like I enjoy the COVID I slightly conspiracy. believe the population control. Yeah, I enjoy the COVID conspiracies, but my only thing are like, even if, it might be above some of the politicians that we know on the surface. Cause I'm like, what's the yeah. benefit for them? Yeah. Like, like you're, they're, yeah. you're closing the economy. Could be the aliens. So there's probably aliens right here. <laughs> it could be the aliens. That's, that, that's, are you guys following the Amber Heard thing? Actually, let me ask you. Cause I think we. Yes and no. Yeah. I was. But then the latest revelation of Johnny Depp's one, it kind of changed my perspective. I don't know if you saw the... No, what happened? I don't know what was released, but it, it basically didn't paint him in the best of light either. Mm -hmm. And it just made me conclude that they're both mad. Yeah, both. no, they're definitely <laughs> both mad. <laughs> they're both, they're both, they're both definitely both mad. The, the, the recording of what Amber Heard said, yeah. I don't think people are like, Paying attention to what she said. She, is that the one that she basically said, "No one's gonna believe you. I'm a woman." After called them, his hand. it's like the, oh, it's finger sorry. And that's the that's the, the when it goes the other way. The correction what? was like this, and now it's like now that she said that, people are gonna be like, it, "It's just hurting them." Mm. Like that kind mm. of recording. It's, it's just taken hurting. away from it's the, the, yeah, real the real victims, issues. The real so. issues. But the thing is, I like I probably obviously I wasn't there, and honestly, I actually don't care. <laughs> but I hope you went there. <laughs> <laughs> like it's probably just one of those situations where it's a fucked up situation both ways. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, where yeah, yeah. he he did some shit, she did some shit, and yeah. like and, and everybody's trying to one up each other now. And the funny thing is, this is a defamation suit. This is not even against like it's more about the, it's about the in, an interview she gave, mm -hmm. and she didn't even mention his name, but it was basically him. Mm -hmm. So it's a defamation suit, not that oh. I'm taking you to court for abusing me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, this whole thing is a bit, a bit sketchy. And Americans love a good uh, trial. They love a good story. Like, fuck, shit. Yeah, like, like, what, look, like we keep saying, Jordan keeps saying it's all about storylines. Like, even look at the whole thing that's happening with Kim Kardashian, Ray J, and all them. It's like, yeah, look. Well, narrative. It's You've okay. got to sell a narrative. Let's, let's actually talk about it. Let's beef that. and sell narrative. No, beef. because, because this, this is the thing, right? Like, from day dot, there is no way that. That sex tape comes out and Rage starts playing. Impossible. Impossible. Mm. Say that again? There's no way that sex tape comes out mm. the way that they said it comes out and Rage still has a career. That he leaked it and he yeah. dropped it. Yeah. What the family the family that just came with lawyers and shit, that like, your dad was a lawyer. I'm pretty sure they got lawyer friends that I will sue the I will sue every little one wish penny that you got. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you get what I mean? Mm. Like there, there is no way that you, you let that slide. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and and I always say like, Ray J has to speak up because if you don't tell your story, then whatever story they tell becomes the story. That becomes, and that's why when remember when Kanye was moving like that, and you said it, you said like, if Kanye, I know people think Kanye's moving mad, but if he says nothing, whatever narrative they sell us is what is run. what becomes the story. So yeah, I'm glad run. like, and even when I was watching the Last Dance, Michael Jordan's documentary, the GM uh, Jerry Croft, he was dead. And um, Stephen A was like, it doesn't sit well with me because they could have just, they painted this guy as to be the bad guy in the documentary. And that becomes a story now. Me mm. watching this for the first time mm. and not really following the career. Mm. That's my story. Jerry Croft was a bad GM that tried to stop Michael J uh, Jordan from winning. So when Ray just spoke up and I was like, I'm glad he speaks up because the, whatever, if you don't tell your story, someone's going to tell your story. And as Kanye has, was moving mad, when it comes to the Kardashian, if you don't tell your story, the they're story is they tell. Is the story like, like, I, I, I hear that, but like for me, yeah, I hate explaining myself. Bro, I, if there's one thing in this so, world, man, I hate I, explaining myself. So for me, how I see this, yeah, I explain myself to the people that I feel like need to understand mm, what's mm, happening. Mm, mm, mm. Like, and apart from anyone else, you'd be say, "Oh, did you? I heard you." You say, "Sorry, yeah, come." Well, what Ray just said, I, I hear you, and I, that, if that's your like motive, like I just need to explain myself to people I love, and that, I actually kind of agree with that. But he said this told a story that he put a dildo in her ass while she was asleep. That makes you come across as a rapist to the world. That's and what I'm coming across. That's rapist. Yeah, he's like he's in the entertainment business. Also, like mm. like he needs opportunities, and his world, his money is based on people. So he mm. needs people to like him so he can make money. Mm. If they are putting out stories that's actually going to affect your bottom line, and you still have kids to feed, you have got to correct that. If you're on a stage where like it's 
you're not you're not like a rager. You don't need people to like it. You're not feeding your family through the opinions of people. Whatever story they tell, like you know what, I'm gonna explain to my mom what it was. I don't need to explain to you. But in Rager's case, especially, it's like yo, people are gonna think I'm out here. I just raped Kip, I raped Kip Kardashian. That can affect my bottom line. I have to speak out on this. No, no, yeah, I get that. Like based, based, speak, based on the revolution, of what Rager said. What do you guys think of propaganda? Because when that when he said that, yeah, you have to deep this sex tape was over twenty years. Mm. And in terms of the narrative that has been pushed for twenty years, I think he even said something about like keeping up with the Kardashians and that that's pretty much kind of we we know reality T V but a lot a lot of it is scripted. Yeah, I hate watching it. And if it's that if that's the Kardashian, everything that we're yeah, watching Yeah, yeah. Everything that we're watching That's bro, true, this, you know. This goes if that small yeah, family just, can create just, just that, that big strong, propaganda. This, do you know there's one guy, Rupert Murdoch? COVID was from he, human population. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Rupert, Rupert Murdoch owns probably 80% of the media in the world. Mm. And, and no. they, they said, sorry to cut you off, they said this, that's probably why Elon bought Twitter. Because every news outlet, before you read it, before you click on the link on the New York Post, it comes from Twitter. So Twitter now is the biggest control of news outlets. So he can control for that propaganda man. perfectly. Watch yeah. Elon Musk. First of all, by, by Twitter, stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I went, what? <laughs> what? A quick little take. No, but like, um, I don't like this. This is why I don't like the way people talk about people that have conspiracy theories. Because, all right, once you start learning about how this world really fucking works, Bro, life yeah, life yeah, starts yeah. becoming crazy. Like, okay, right. so um, marketing is a crazy thing. People don't. I don't mm -hmm. think people understand the mm -hmm. level of how marketing co comes around. So there's two things that I, I heard or across my lifetime, whatever, that's kind of like, okay, this is mad. No, three. So um, how they made pop smoking popular. What they did, right, they got a bunch of attractive people, a bunch of attractive women and stuff mm. like that, and put them on corners smoking. Mm. And put, like, Even on the ads, you see like sexy people. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, cool people smoke, that right? Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, it's attractive. Yeah. Everybody starts smoking, and that's how you get it. That's how you get the thing popping. Do you get what I'm saying? Diamonds aren't fucking rare. Diamonds Jeez, aren't rare. No, it's not. just they the, control the how much they, the they control how much how much of them go around. Mm. So it's kind of like this thing is rare, and then they make it diamonds are a girl's best friend. You this have that. you have to make it appear scarce for people to want it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That, that's what someone on a podcast has said that they said if you told people we only have fifty vaccines, more people would have got Facts. It. Because Facts. you told them we don't have enough of these vaccines, you need to get it. But if you tell people there's so many, everybody go get one. You're, Hey, you get donuts that, if you get that's one. What you happens. get chicken if you get one. I don't want donuts. Do you know, do you know yeah. If you told us it's not enough, everybody will get one. There's there's an uh, English brand, Cortez or Cortez or whatever. Mm -hmm. So apparently what happened was this guy, made, he made his website and he put a password on the website. So you couldn't buy stuff on the website unless you have the password. Now everyone's like, where'd you get the password? Exclusivity. Look, give me the Ex password. Give me the password. Give me the password. And then... Like it's, <laughs> but, but that's what everybody just mm -hmm. wants to feel like. Exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. You're special. Yeah. You're yeah. special. Yeah. The next one, what's called? How... How what's called like bacon became a part of the healthy breakfast. So um, I can't remember who the guy who the guy. What? Went to. Who said that bacon is healthy? No, no. Like what's called it's a part of a balanced breakfast. You know that thing? Like, yeah, sausage, yeah, yeah, sausage, sausage, bacon, all that. Full breakfast. Yeah, it's part of a full breakfast. So the pork industry went to this um, market or whatever. I was like, we want to start selling more pork. Like we want to like get this industry popping. And he's like, you know what? Start selling it that it's part of a full balanced breakfast. And that's how bacon and sausages and everything is like. Oh, that's what you eat for breakfast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, people don't understand that. Yes, people are like, oh, conspiracy theories, blah, blah. But somebody is thinking that way. Mm. And that's how you're doing certain things to this day. Do you get what I'm saying? And people's like, people don't want to see that there's a high level of analysis going on here. And even certain things like, I don't particularly believe in science. And everyone looks at me like I'm crazy for that. Because science, no, this is it, right? Science is just, okay, a bunch of people saying, this is what we're going, going with, yeah? Cool. No, it's it. not. I was going to no, say, you're a scientist. It, it, no, it's no, that's easy, your point, it's man. Easy. Easy. Yeah, your I, point. I always hear this on like 90s babies and Fred is just is, talking bro. about theories and I'm like, do you do the thing is, yeah? Okay, I don't even do science to the highest level. Yeah. But there's some theories and they tell you the test. They just show you the experimentation. I'm like, mm -hmm. they said, they'll tell you, see this kind of coke here? Okay. If you put it in a pressure chamber, it'll squeeze it and then the pressure goes and it'll crush. That's cool. So I'm listening to, for example, I'm listening yeah, to say, yeah, yeah, how yeah. do you even know this pressure? Like there, your ears pop. When you're up there, because it change the pressure. Okay. So if you go up any high, there's and how, then, how do you know it's pressure that makes you go? What? 
What because the fuck okay. do you mean? How do you know? No, wait, no, 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 genuinely, genuinely, no. Because, because take, take, take away the fact that my question sounds stupid okay. for a second. Okay. okay. But how do you know that there is pressure? instruments that they they do them bait? Mm -hmm. If you want to believe this instrument, that's like then it's uh, that's up to you. But there's definitely instruments that measure mm -hmm. measure pressure and pressure levels. And in these instruments, there's cans of coke, and they change. If I if I'm a can of coke and I change the pressure in my hands, what happens? And look, it's empty. This it squeezes. I'm, there's I'm, literally experiments that you're seeing. Look, this is thing. I'm not saying I'm not saying everything. Okay. Like I'm not All saying right. absolutely everything. Yeah, because some things well, are theories, they, and theories yeah. can be questioned. Do, do you get That's fair. And some things that we take as fact, like look for the fact that uh, there was a point in the world where someone was like, the world is flat, and the guy that said no, it's not flat, it's round, and they called him crazy. And then now it's like, oh, actually, you know what? He was right. Yeah. Do you get know what I'm saying? Okay. Purely because of that fact, I can't take any shit. I can't take shit. No, 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 no. Even the fact that the fucking atlas that we know it, uh, the atlas as we know it, is wrong. Apparently and so. It, it's wrong. Hey, like, theories. Talk, talk no, no, no. <laughs> theories can be questioned because they are only theories, and theories get disproved all the time. If someone says, I have a theory, they're not telling you, I know this. Okay. Like, even if I say, I have a theory, I think COVID was. Uh, human made, like man made thing. That's just a theory. That's not. I'm not even saying that's a fact. fact. So if if you if a scientist has a theory, you did you can go question it, but you have to debunk it. Okay. But if you're you're like you're, it's not even debunked. There's certain things that they've done experimentation over and look, over. Look at India, no passionate about no, science. Like even <laughs> even paracetamol to cure headaches. They're not. They they even tell you. They they tell you even the, the vaccine. They tell mm -hmm. you 95 percent efficacy of paracetamol. So you can you can be like I I, I took paracetamol before it didn't work. Yes, it's not going to work. Every time, but there's a 98 percent time that Look, it will work. This, this is the thing. I'm this, not. I'm not saying that there aren't things that are facts, right? Okay. Like there are certain things that are probably facts. Like, mm -hmm. if I do this and I drop it, it's gonna. Yeah, gravity, for example. Do you know what I'm saying? Gravity, yeah, gravity yeah, is a yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying that, right? But like, people act like just because something has been there for so long, mm -hmm. it's it's that's it. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, no, 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 no. Someone, yeah. someone literally just said we're doing that, and now everyone is like, "That's what we're going to do for the rest of our lives." And if you think otherwise, you're stupid and like you're dumb. And it's like, not really. Somebody had to think outside. Like, literally think think about it this way. Yeah, there was a point in time that someone was like, "You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to get a bunch of metal, put it together, and we're going to fly people over the fucking ocean." Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to look at that person like they're crazy. Like, are you are you dumb? But nothing exists until it exists. Do you know what I'm saying? Isn't that a th like that's example? Isn't that a, isn't that an example of that science works? That we can just someone did it and then they did that and you can fly from here to and England in an hour. Isn't that a proof no, okay, that wait, science wait, wait, works? Wait, look, well, I'm, I'm, science not, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that it doesn't work at yeah, 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 yeah. every at every single. Part oh, you can yeah, exist, yeah, you can obviously you can debunk but theories, I don't, question theories. Yeah. Like like I take everything with a grain of salt, pretty much. That's fair. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that's the best way to say it. Yeah, that's fair. In this world, man. If I tell you some of the things I've seen and heard, it doesn't make sense. Like in terms of science can't mm -hmm. defy that. My dad is a doctor and sometimes some illnesses get cured or people find a way and he but obviously because he's a doctor but he's also a spiritual person and he comes home and he tells my mom that one is just God. Because that person there's no there's no science yeah, to actually there's no, prove it. there's no medical he's like, he, like he's a doctor and he's been a doctor all his life. He'll come home and tell my mom, this girl fell on the horse, blah blah blah, this way, blah, neck, blah. blah. She should have been dead, mm -hmm. she, but she's gonna walk tomorrow. Like you, she's looking at the injuries. I'm like, he's like, how are you alive? And science, there's obviously okay. Science doesn't have the answer. Can I ask you a question? Based on that, yeah, since you don't, you said you don't believe yeah, in all you like science. science until now. Mm -hmm. You don't believe in all science. Can I ask what you do believe in? Do you believe in like spirituality and all that stuff? All right. So how I see the world, right? Like, forget about religion. Forget about everything. I feel like there is power. I don't know what it is, but there's a certain power and everybody can access it. Everybody? But, yes, everybody, but not everybody knows how to. Mm -hmm. So some people, the way they have to access it is through Jesus. Wait, some wait, people, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There's power. Everyone has access to it, but how can you have access to something you don't know exists? You can have power. You can have power. just did you watch because Doctor Strange this week. The absolute wait, what's called the absolute Strange. Yes, I did. That's like <laughs> no, 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 no. This, <laughs> my thing for no, 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 no. This, this, this is something. I've, this is something I've thought. Did you years. watch it? The, yeah, yeah, the, the little girl. She had power. She didn't know what that's going in and around. And she didn't know how to access her power. What's called the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. So just because it's not there doesn't mean that. Just because there's a lot of things that people don't know that they don't know. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I hear you. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like there is a power. I don't know what the fuck it is. There's there's some sort of power that is that's there, and everybody has access to it. However, not everybody knows how to get access to it. So certain people have to use different talismans to get to it. For some people, it might be Jesus. For some people, some people don't believe that they have power within themselves to make things happen. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like some people, they sit there and I say this is gonna happen, mm -hmm. and they believe it so much that somehow 
it happens. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, have you ever actually thought about this, right? One day you sat there and you said, you know what? I want a house one day with a corner couch and uh, I'm going to get a TV on the wall. And a TV on the wall. And look at that. That, that, was, that was a thought. It started, it started <laughs> off as a thought. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, you made through it happen. power, you made it happen. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And that's why I've been, I feel like if religion didn't exist, so many people would kill themselves. Oh my God. My, my friend went to Niger. Sorry to cut you No, no. My friend went to Niger and he lived in two years. He says, what religion does for, for Niger, if people didn't know that there's God and life gets better after this, what is to stop them from, uh, from having chaos? Because I live in such poverty. And the only thing I believe is every Sunday, if I go up here, my life will either A, get better, and if it doesn't and I die, I'll be rewarded. If you take that away from people, they, have nothing they, to live for. they will see your big compound and, and be like, why am I suffering? If I can just go there and take and live that life. So in the same way I was talking about religion gives community, probably more so in Europe, back home, like I was talking about my mom, she, when she was 16, she finished, like she couldn't go to college, she finished secondary school, her, she just said she turned to God. And get all I understand. I'm like, imagine 16 and feeling like your life is hopeless. Like, what am I gonna do at 16, for, at, for the rest of my life? life? So you just turn. You're like, you like, I'm gonna turn to God. And her life, like, then she married a doctor and she's here, whatever. I'm like, you cannot look at that woman and tell her that God doesn't exist because uh, she will look at her life and be like, I did nothing, and look at my life turned out. And if that concept of religion doesn't exist back home. A lot of people probably kill themselves or there'll be anarchy. Facts. There'll be I anarchy. Know. I think so. I was actually growing up as a pastor's son. <laughs> like, oh, I was one of the religious person on the podcast. It, 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 it was, how would I say? It was, funny enough, I was talking about it on Saturday at a conference. It was very challenging in the sense that, yeah, I didn't, no, I didn't get the concept of religion or, you know, like all of us, we were, I would say, forced. Mm. In the sense like, oh, go to church on Wednesday, go to church on Friday, go to church on Saturday, go to church on Sunday. Jeez. And, well, maybe that's like the pastor's concern. And it's like, it takes away from the things that you want to do, like football. Yeah, or, you're like, a baller. Football. I play what you want. Thanks, <laughs> 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 so bro. Really he plays like a guero. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's, and I don't want to get into that because I was very passionate about football. But because church was on Sunday, mm. matches on Sunday. I had to choose. Mm. I didn't even have a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, didn't choose. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. It got so deep. My managers used to come almost every Sunday to beg my mom to come play. So that aside, seeing them at home and then seeing them in the church was like seeing two different people. Okay. So that was not two different yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just different sides of them. Different sides of yeah, them. Yeah. And it was tough mentally to like, especially growing up as an only child. I was an only, I'm an only child. And, you know, It's a lot of pressure because I'm sure yeah, you say you say narrative. You know, oh, you're a pastor, so you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's also a narrative that the pastor children are the worst. <laughs> yeah. That part might be true, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not even like I just see it as we're all like human beings. Like we're all just trying to know life for ourselves. But when it comes to being a pastor's child, there's just an, an extra level of laser focus on you as to be the poster child even if other members kids are bad mm. they still see you and you have to be different mm. you have to teach them how to be good it's like nah teach your own child how to be good mm. that's not my job but um it's a lot of sacrificing as well for time i see when i used to see you man go to rights go to all these motives man's in choir practice <laughs> with all these aunties like <laughs> but it taught me resilience taught me patience it taught me a discipline it taught me a lot of things about myself that when I did eventually like oh decide the same for me right now, I wasn't overwhelmed with the uh, I don't want to say outside life, but like in terms of just culture, mm. and it didn't derail me from my relationship with God because that's one thing. Being a pastor's kid, kind of taught you that oh if you're not if you don't do things a certain way, you're not gonna make heaven mm. or you're go you're you're not good enough or that that kind of narrative. So it took a while for me to like break that, but I won't lie, being a pastor's kid does have its advantages. I'm not gonna lie, you go to a couple of places because they know your parents' heritage on Sunday. Someone gave me 30 euro. I was complaining about the price, I only paid 20 euro because someone gave me 30. Because <laughs> <laughs> they knew my parents. Mm -hmm. And it comes with those kind of perks, but bro, I won't lie, I should be in England in Division 2 right now. Division <laughs> one. Wait, okay. Genu yeah. Genuine question, yeah. Do you find it weird when people call your parents like mommy and daddy? 
That's the best question you've ever asked on the podcast. That's the best question you've ever asked on the podcast. That's a good question. Yes. That's a good question. I see the cheats. I see the cheats. But maybe because I'm used to it, I'm a bit desensitized with that. I don't really care, like. Because yeah, you've probably heard it all your life, so it doesn't. Yeah. Especially I, as young, like they even coined the term. So my mom's a woman, like. Um, so my dad would be pastor, and then they call my mom mommy P as in the mommy pastor, mm. but they shorten it to mommy P. And God rest her soul, the woman that coined that for my mom, she's passed now, but she was pretty cool. So I was like, oh, that's cool. But then that kind of kicked on, and then that's the name. But in terms of how I feel. Even if I don't really hear it when they're around, mm. that's that's their business. Mm. Like, yeah. Nah, because I, I always find that shit weird. I'm like, you know, you're a grown ass man. It's, oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, also, yeah. we also sexualize those, those yeah, words, yeah. daddy, and it's so, for some reason like no, like, daddy, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> what? What are you doing? You're cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. I saw a tweet or a TikTok recently, and the one guy was singing "Happy Birthday" to his pastor, and he was saying "Happy Birthday, Daddy." And then I was just like, "Yeah, it's kind of weird." <laughs> it's weird. weird. It's kind of the weird. Daddy one, yeah. Okay, there. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can say that one is a bit weird, but because maybe it's the same mommy P. Mm. Maybe that one is a bit different, and maybe my relation with my mom. But yeah, when I heard "Daddy," it's like, <laughs> I don't even call him because my my thing is yeah, like. It's just like sometimes people take like the pastor as the all known yeah. guy, and it's like, mm-hmm. bro, everything, every any any problem you have, hey, daddy, I have a headache today. <laughs> <laughs> Not the headache. <laughs> it's like you wait, you know, you know, like there's doctors, there's doctors. Yeah. <laughs> or the worst is like they come with the marital problem. Like, bro, therapy is literally yeah. like just like what is he? He's having issues with his. Man. You're coming to I him. I like, to ask that. It's like obviously because he was a pastor in the church, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we all get older. We human. We see yeah, our parents as more as human. human. Yeah. But we, you have like that double bro. part where you're seeing a pastor and your parent as a human with all these flaws and like. Oh, it was that must a be lot. Kind of strange. It was a bro. If I tell you now that like. During COVID, I had to. That's why I moved back to go to fix my relationship with my dad, mm. because it was there was a lot of that in the sense, yeah, seeing someone with their flaws, and seeing them okay, not in their flaws and how, like on other people, they only see him two days mm. or two hours. Mm-hmm. I see him every other every, time. Yeah. So I'm seeing all different sides. So that analogy that you used of you know people calling him for like issues and shits like. The fuck's he gonna do? Let's say you are watching a match like and you get a call and then he has to like run out like bro, like you're just watching football, now you have to go deal with marital issues and all this stuff. You're so, talking as if like like they they actually they chat as if like God is whispering in the air as it's like tell him this, tell him to do that. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's just like it, it's techie though because on the spirituality side you know, especially growing up with it, I can't, I've seen some instances where they've helped. Mm-hmm. As in a lot of cases, let me not even like, they've been helped. But it's like, on the other side of those people calling, like, there's other people you could have called apart from them. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, God whispering their ear thing. Man, I don't like, I've battled that so many times, mm-hmm. but I've just come to the conclusion, like, look, I, whatever, it's there relationship with god i yes. heard god my way yes if they hear god their way that's cool and we're sitting here dissecting about the people that are looking for solution to their problem if they got the solution i guess that's by all means like, it's win-win win for them isn't it yeah like, no, that's fair enough oh okay, wait as, as a kid yeah obviously only child and that do you do you ever feel like do you ever get angry at your dad for having to run out to deal with someone else's problem when it's like bro i kind of need you right now that's why i said i have to go home <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, let me open the floor. But like, yeah, man, definitely. Because that's one of the things I brought up to him. Like, I'm a big man now. And I do podcasts. Don't even ask about that. Mm. Like, um, Yo, bro, my dad asked me about the pod. I was looking at him. I was like, what? what? It, 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 all my life was school, 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 do well, do school, school. Now it's like, man's like, oh, talking about the pod. What do you do? Do you put it on YouTube? I'm like. It it's was different. honestly a foreign feeling because mm. extracurricular activities he never no cared about. No he never right. came to. I don't even. I'm not even mad at him. He never came to football games. He came to uh, award ceremony at, at the school. My brother won a maths award. He was 
God. Any any award that was in music, football, whatever, it says why are we only winning up extracurricular activities. He didn't care. So for him to come and tell mm -hmm. like what do you do, what do you guys talk about, you put it on YouTube. Is it good? Do you enjoy it? I'm like, what's what is why is this like, man who are talking you? on my podcast? You know why? Because they're making bread now. <laughs> I think that, like, that you're, I'm you're, you're, a, you're yeah, a man. Yeah, he sees you yeah, as yeah. a man. That's one thing I realized as mm. well. That I noticed that then he started, you know, because then he started seeing. I won't lie, I told big man, I don't need you for anything, bro. Mm. Like I make my own peace. I think that kind of settled in his head that, okay, I actually have to try now. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about, like, growing up as an only child, maybe because he had his own shit to do with, in, like, work, church, all that shit. So I kind of understood. But now, like you said, all these extracurricular activities apart, like, you know I'm working, but now you know I'm doing other things. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, you're, you're actually... Yeah. <laughs> I've done well. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, Once man. you're settled in, the, I, like I always say, it's like, I don't even... I try to see it from their side. Yeah. I'm like, you came here with no connections, oh, yeah. you knew oh, nobody. Yeah. So you had to make sure I was set. You couldn't be like, play football because you're taking a risk. I might, there's such a little chance of making it. But you knew if I went to school, studied engineering, I could, I could earn at least 40K a year and I'm, I'm grand. Question, question you know? for you guys. What our parents did come in here? Do you guys think you could do that? Like, leave. Remember when you said, leave. then you said something about this. You don't think you can and then until you, 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 you but you can. You, want, you don't think you can, but if you had to, you could. You reckon? I think so. Uh, uh, caveat, I think most people, most. Nah, I don't think a lot of people can just up and leave where Everything. they are yeah, and yeah, start yeah. a new life with where they know. Like, no, not even where in Ireland. Let's say someone from Canada. You don't, even listen. You don't speak Canada. Canada goes to Romania. Yeah. Something like that. Mm. That was, I think that was like that for a lot of them. Mm. And it's not even, there's Nigerians around the world. Mm. It was like Ireland 25 years ago, which was like 30 years ago.